you asked me previously what type of help am I looking for from Brigitte? Um, thing is, I'm looking for help and I'm looking for help. Of course, I am relying very much on myself since I'm five years old, really, I am. But eventually, um, a little external help cannot hurt. Now, this being said, I'm not uh, making an affirmation that Bridget actually does exist. I think she does, but this is just an hypothesis. Really is. Like I previously said, uh, I think um, the, the gods between commas, the gods between commas, uh, they represent more what we have inside of us and bringing this out of ourselves and um, there are more type of energy so in other words um, we ourselves are partially gone and partially animal we're both and the size we choose to nourish is the side that is growing so don't get me wrong <laughs> I'm not saying that I think I am the creator of the universe <laughs> or that I am the grandmother of God far from me but I recognize that we have a side that is divine and the best proof of that is the composition our composition the way we are made is the same composition than the stars are there is a connection you said that um gods represent what we have inside of us a uh, type of energy we are uh, partially god and partially animal and the side that we nourish is the side that grows uh, i completely agree with all that um i think it's all about energy um you said we are composed of the same stuff as stars um that really strikes a chord with me um it's something I have always uh, believed and, and thought was an amazing uh, fact. Um, have you ever heard of a old TV show from the 90s called uh, Babylon 5? That was like my favorite, favorite show for a long time. Um, and uh, I want to quote something from it to you. And I will send you... Um, a YouTube clip as well of this scene but um, this is given um, the actress who gave this line actually just died a few weeks ago so I've been thinking about it recently but anyway here it is I will tell you a great secret captain perhaps the greatest of all time the molecule molecules of your body are the same molecules that make up this station and the nebula outside that burn inside the stars themselves. We are star stuff. We are the universe made manifest, trying to figure itself out. So yeah, that was a, that's a quote that was, that is very near and dear to my heart and something that's really, uh, you know, thinking back has really shaped my uh, part of shaping my philosophy about uh, the universe. There are many other sources, of course. We are somewhat fallen stars. I'm not saying we are demons. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But I think that we were brought 
in this three dimension. And I think we will manipulate them to get here. Now, I know I'm going all over the place, so I'm going to try to limit myself a little bit because I can write a book about what I believe. <laughs> Whatever. It's not... Okay. You like you said, I am very interested in your beliefs and would like to know more about them. I am very empirical in my approach as well. Okay. Now I must tell you that I am... Okay. For many years, I trained myself to be very empirical to the point of made, I made an essay of empirical nature uh, when I did my master in psychology and what an essay of empirical nature is is to take the scientific articles and criticize their methodology so so I did not okay so I am very analytical and very empirical but on the other end I realized that I was because we have two sides of the brain I'm sure you know this the left and the right and the one is intuitive and the other one is more rational empirical and the intuitive part of ourselves I was like many other people including of course men and women alike too many of us are just shutting down this feminine side of ourselves that women do have of course and men also do have it's not just the uh, inspirational side of ourselves that we are shutting down but the artistic side as well the intuitive part of ourselves but I'm not woo woo <laughs> I'm not woo woo like a new ager the flying uh, with the unicorns uh, in the sky you know this is not me so I'm between some you know to to make an image of where I am I'm between heaven and and earth you talked a lot about femininity and uh, the patriarchy uh, again I agree with all of the everything you're saying um, although you suggest we need to return to a balance and I wonder if there has ever really been a balance um, at any point in history it always seems out of balance uh, it's part of the constant struggle I guess to try and seek that balance um, I think you're right that um, people need to explore explore their feminine and or masculine sides of themselves more and also um, what I want to add is while I'm at it is we for many centuries we had the patriarchal society and then human nature is going from one end to the other hand of the pendulum so we are we, we human nature tends to go to the extremes I try to tend I try to be in the middle I try you know and I really do work on that but this is what I have observed so you had the patriarchal patriarchy for many centuries and um, my grandmother my mother and myself we did experience uh, very well um, it's yeah so 
let's not go there. <laughs> um, and then you have the the extreme extreme feminism that is uh, as crazy as extreme uh, patriarchy. Both are crazy, and um, men and women need to first of all they need to get in touch with the feminine the feminine side of ourselves of themselves or the masculine side of themselves because also i had to explore my masculine side as well um, because if we bring balance in ourselves then we can bring balance in our relationships as well as in society and that's why I created a playlist about that in English and French about bringing the balance back between men and women because we are in balance for decennials if not uh, centuries if not thousands of years so yeah if if gender is a spectrum you know um then i am definitely closer to the middle than the far edges that's for sure but i imagine that's true of a lot of people so i'm more practical in my beliefs than i previously was Previously, because I first was a Roman Catholic, and then I turned Protestant, so much so that I myself studied enough um, to be myself um, a Bible scholar and pastors didn't like that much about me <laughs> um, okay so and then I stopped living in the clouds with the Bible and because the Bible as a lot of people know those that are not brainwashed by it they know that this is the word of men yeah Council of Trent it was just men I'm sorry but that's the truth um, so yeah so uh, with my research and experience I my experience brought me to research first I did I was uh, became like I said a Bible scholar myself and but not you know when you're as this is bringing me to somewhere else we eventually realize that you don't need a paper from a school to be intelligent and to be talented to be gifted it's not automatic like soci society promotes and um, that's why I finally realized that because I didn't want to you know go back to university and and get uh, 56 uh, diplomas you know uh, it would be insane and um, also when you when you go to a program and it's not called a program for nothing I know I, I might sound a little a little uh, weird here but um, you are trained to limit yourself to one specific 
film like myself I was limiting myself first to psychology having a master degree and um, that is the best way for society to brainwash us because then we are not looking uh, in other fields and that's the problem in our society like uh, for extent, instance doctors are re receiving what they call patients uh, they receive bodies right they don't they don't receive people they re they treat people like bodies uh, so that's the problem of uh, uh, those programs is that we limit ourselves to a specific field uh, you don't need a paper from school to be intelligent or talented or gifted totally agree I uh, do not have a degree I dropped out of university. I went to university at the University of Waterloo for computer science um, for two years, but I couldn't wait to get out and uh, to get out into the real world and get a real job and uh, get started. And so in 1999, middle of the dot com rush, uh, yeah, I dropped out of university and moved across the country to join a startup with some friends. I don't regret it, although I've kind of always wanted to, I don't know, the prideful, egotistical side of me has always wanted to maybe go back and get a completed degree just to, to have it. Um, I do try to be mindful of my ego and not be ego-driven. In a way, it lets you step outside of yourself and sort of um, almost get a, um, almost get some, something like an objective perspective on yourself um, which sounds impossible and maybe it is maybe it's illusion so back to your email um, your high book eye-opening book you're the field by Lynn McTaggart first uh, you mentioned consciousness exists outside the brain oh yeah and survives death oh yes um, no I did not read it and I'm not exactly in need for right now to read it. I'm glad you did read it because being yourself agnostic, this is something else I want to talk about is that I see there is a difference. I understand the difference between someone being agnostic and someone being atheist maybe I'm wrong because I didn't check online yet but my understanding being agnostic is is not the same as being atheist atheist is we live in a me mechanical world uh, 3d and you know and uh, all it is about is now right here and right now and when we die then that's it uh, basically that's what they believe and I understand this is not the way an agnostic thinks because an agnostic is not is not closed minded like an atheist is it will, and that's why you read that book um, yes I know consciousness exists outside of the brain and survives death being brainwash myself in Roman Catholicism first and then the Bible first and uh, second um, I was being brainwashed by the Bible as well so I was not uh, considering reincarnation I thought this was uh, I was extremely brainwashed and um, I'm not blaming myself for that because of the where I'm coming from so I'm not going to blame myself for that I got out of this thank, thank goodness I did and um, I finally um, 
study more philosophies uh, that are all, far older than Christianism and I started considering reincarnation by the way I will mention immediately that my type of my my way of uh, my own authority is not to control people is not to there are too many people out there that are dri driven by their ego way too much and when you do not believe like they do then you're out or when you and they, 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 they don't uh, they are not open-minded and that's the problem is, is that the more we learn the more we realize that we don't know that much but of course we know more than when we started life right so but um, so I'm tr what I'm trying to say is that I am on this planet to influence people they take whatever they want what sounds right to them but this is my type of authority is that it says uh, authority uh, of service I'm here to serve humanity with my knowledge and what because I'm not the grandmother of God they are adults and they take what fits their philosophy if they have because some of them don't have philosophy much they don't philosophize much but some of them are and they take what is what ring what rings true to them you say you are here to serve humanity um i also try to align myself with that mindset um, we are all here to learn and grow and evolve spiritually and to learn service to others and to try and be not not be so self selfish we are all flawed and i don't know if any of us are very, are truly selfless but it's something we need to try for this being said um I strive to know as the truth as much as I possibly can and I know this might sound a little weird a little insane because there are some people out there who say that you, you cannot know the truth you cannot but I understand also that we are we uh, human beings are multifaceted and the truth is also multifaceted and we cannot see all the facets of truth i understand that and that's why i keep my mind open two consciousness has a real and measurable effect on reality itself absolutely it's absolutely true also because even i discovered that our soul is not does not live inside of us it does it says it, it goes beyond the our physicality so it says our body that is inside the brain and not and no, sorry it says our body that is inside the soul and not the soul inside the body like people believe and back to reincarnation what I did and the best I could do to really study in a um, 
in a um, rational fashion is I studied the uh, children who were speaking about their past lives and there are many but they are many of them that they are talking about that and children as we know uh, they are more connected to the real life I would say because here it's not exactly a real life it is a reflection of the real life but it, it is not the real life and children are more connected to their higher self and uh, they are you c we can trust children far more than we can trust the adults about that not meaning that we cannot trust adults but I specifically paid attention to what the children were talking about concerning their past lives and eventually I brought the concept for myself so continuing I uh, consider myself agnostic uh, I possibly, uh, how would I possibly understand the true nature of God if one existed and then yeah um, speaking about God um, there is a difference between God between commas and creator of the universe and I'm not saying that I understand and I, I comprehend the, 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 the mind of the creature the creator of the universe okay I'm not saying that so because I would be very pretentious to say the least but bringing back to the concept of God between commas as weird as it as it sounds when we invert reverse that word we get dog and not this is I know this is just a little detail but uh, the God of this world is uh, Yahweh Jehovah. Um, Yahweh Jehovah, who is who is uh, schizophrenic. Uh, yeah, I do sound like a gnostic. I do borrow some of their beliefs. I'm not gnostic. I'm not gnostic myself but there are some of their beliefs that I do borrow because it makes sense to me and the crazy world we're living in that makes sense that it is a crazy God that is behind this 3D reality I know it sounds a little uh, doom and gloom but hey <laughs> this is how I kept my sanity so far <laughs> Yes. 